yes. like I think of my life and I remember back and I remember all my failures. I don't remember my successes. Yes. And so I would like to me, I would think it was a life of failure. Well, I'll remind you. <laughs> You've had <laughs> a lot of success. But, 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 but because of that, yes. it's all evolution. Yes. It's all evolution. Yes. And it's beautiful. But you, you can't worry about getting your knees skinned, you know? What have been some of your weaknesses? And, and you know, maybe share with me. I know in 1993 you wrote about in the book, and we've talked about it. You received a memo. You built this culture where everybody's transparent, where there's this total radical honesty and truth. Not meanness, just honesty. But not everybody was ready for that, and they were interpreting it in a certain way. So tell me about that memo and how it changed you. But also tell me what, what has been one of your weaknesses and how have you either made it into a strength or how have you surrounded yourself with better people to overcome it? Okay, so let me take the 93 first and yeah, then I'll get to my weaknesses. Um, so 1993, I then had about 70 people work for me. Yeah. And, uh, and how many do you have now? 1,800, 1,500? 1,500, yeah. 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 And so, um, and I get a review. I want to be reviewed by other people and I get a review by some of them the closest, and they said, you did these things great. But you're demoralizing people. You're, they're feeling, uh, you know, bad about all of these things. They're yes. demoralized. Yes. Uh, and I said to myself, I didn't want to demoralize them. We're yeah. in it together. I didn't know if, they, they didn't tell me, but fortunately came through this way. And I was put into a dilemma. How do I f handle this? Do I be straightforward with the people? And because I want them to be straightforward to yes. me and be straightforward, but it was difficult and it was a problem. And that was a very important time yes. because it, the way that I dealt with it uh, was to think, how are we going to behave with each other? So I sat down with them individually and I said, do you want me to be straightforward? Do you want to know what I really think? Do you want me to listen to what you really think? Should we be this way together? And that began a process, really, of writing down principles of dealing with different things, putting them in writing, yes. and then saying, can we agree that this is how we're going to be with each other? Yes. And it's based and, on fairness and truth. That's right. Yes. But, it's, but a lot of people could say, that's discomforting. Most of the world doesn't do this. Right. Yeah, why is it when they write about you, everybody honors you, obviously, but you always, once in a while, get those pieces like they talk about your group like it's a cult. <laughs> it's like, it's not a cult. It's the silliest thing I've ever heard. It's an unbelievable standard. It's like a group of Navy SEALs because the standard is so well, high. What are they the missing opposite. about your culture? I know. What is it they missing? I, I, I think that some people, you know, get bruised by this, yes. right, by that straightforwardness. Is and, there a percentage of the population a, that just can't handle it in terms of the, their psychological yeah, makeup? that's right. There's yeah. about... Well, we find in about the first 18 months, two years, about a third of the population doesn't make it. Yeah. Right? That makes sense. It's not for them. And it's totally fine. Yes. Okay? 